Good morning, everybody. Hey, hope you're uh, having a good day. I know it's been a while, but I finally got some new content coming that I definitely wanted to start recording. Didn't want to forget. Um, I figured this would be a cool little journey to go on. It's going to be a pain in the ass journey to go on. Uh, I already figured that out. But today, we are going to my buddy Ryan's house, and today we are pulling an engine for War Machine. So, as you all know, it's a 94 318i, and uh, it's just the little four-cylinder that's in there. And we got the 391 rear end welded the uh, diff and everything. So it actually will spin now. Um, as for the power content, we know how that goes. Uh, just that little four-cylinder can pretty much maxes out when I get into a skid. And uh, we won't really go any further. Um, it's been good to me. I still got DOD to go. So we'll see how that engine survives. Um, right now with this new engine, I'm pretty much just going to build it over the winter. I might just keep the four-cylinder in there until I end up blowing it. But with 235,000 miles on it, I mean... Surprisingly, though, it's uh, still been doing amazing. <laughs> but uh, today, we will be going there, and we are going to be pulling a 5.3 LS for War Machine. So that's coming out of a van. I'm not sure of the year and everything like that. When we get there, we're going to find out all that information. But uh, yes, we are putting an LS into the Beamer. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to the more power. I'm looking forward to being ha being able to have enough power to get through a whole skid. Um, just looking forward to the whole build. Uh, I have all my friends with me, my family with me doing it. I know they're going to be helping, guiding me in the right way for it. Um, it's definitely going to be interesting. Uh, like you've seen on the channel now, we've been doing Joel's 5.0 build, so I think it's pretty cool that we're both at SD going to have a 5.0 build and we're going to have an LS build, both in the Beamers. So It's going to be a journey. Um, Joel's car is almost done, which is amazing. That thing should be at DOD on December 7th and 8th, so if you guys get a chance, um, if you're around the uh tri-state area uh it is in summit point west virginia it is one hell of an event to come see um i can't wait it's gonna be my first time there and i heard all three tracks are open down there at some point the place is huge so i'm really interested to see some of the other tracks i'll probably just stay on washington for the most point um just because obviously i'm still learning how to drift and everything and it'll be with joel so i think we'll both be having fun on that and hopefully praying that the cars stay together everything is working right now um, we got everything fixed up on mine his should be running it shouldn't be any um, reason why we don't have his running by then so but right now uh, i'm gonna get some breakfast and then i'll pick this back up when we arrive at ryan's and uh, see what we're dealing with so here we go guys We have officially made it to Mr. Ryan's house. He is uh, currently walking his happy ass over here, which I doubt seven in the morning is probably his cup of tea, even though he never probably sleeps anyway. But uh, we're getting ready to do this thing, so that's gonna be pretty interesting. I don't know how it's gonna go, but we're gonna find out. But he looks so happy. Look at him. And of course, it's gotta be fucking freezing, but it's been like 70 the whole damn week, so I don't know. <laughs> you say it's warm in there? It's warm in there. It's warm in here, yeah. Is it warm in there? <laughs> of course not. I see the window open. Yeah. The door doesn't hold. I gotta put a new garage door on. No. Get loud, son. And there she be. Oh, this looks like a lot of fun. <laughs> That does not look fun at all. <laughs> now we'll do one, do all the body mounts, then we'll jack it up on each side. Okay. Pop this out. I'll be able to pull our forks right in and come right out. Hell yeah. Doesn't look too horrible. It's crazy to see like this stuffed back in there, considering when I open up on the Suburban, like how much is stuffed actually back in there because that's a big ass motor in there. Yeah. Jesus. You need to make sure, for sure you need your mass air and all that kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah. So. Did we uh, determine what year this is yet at all? 
So by the looks of it, it says three, four. Oh. Yeah, an 04. So I guess we can just look that up on what exactly the engine's gonna be. And I'll be able to start buying parts for the shit, so. Oh yeah. Everything's right there. Oh yeah. 2004, five liter. Alrighty. Definitely. All right. Well, I guess we'll fucking get this party fucking started. Oh yeah, a lot of fun. All right, wait, we shall start. Right now, he's jacking the, the whole thing up. I'm gonna take it right off and drop the engine down through. Getting there. <laughs> Oi, fun.
on the ride a little better. Yep. Yeah, see Travis right here? Take this bracket off right here. Take that bracket off right here. Yep. Take your cap off. Flip that, turn that out. Put that in. Cool. And then this I'll just have to, I'll have to find a... Just find one off of a car. Off car. And then take my off the right, car. It separates right here, so all you really Oh, actually, need. technically. Yeah, just well, cut down yeah. the... Well, you don't want to cut it down. You just need to get another dip. Nah, just leave it longer. That means always got all the oil. <laughs> stick it out the fucking hood. Stick blood. it out the fucking hood. <laughs> cool. Oh, that wasn't bad. No. Yeah. I'm pretty happy about that. That's uh, one LS, one LS out. Tear some of this bullshit off we don't need and then get it loaded up. So we'll come back when we got to load it up in the truck. Huh? Fucking thing on the engine stand. Thing on the engine stand. Uh, That's what I was wondering. I don't have bolts. I, I mean, because it didn't come with bolts, so I don't so fucking. Guess what? We're going to set that motherfucker on the floor in your garage. <laughs> I, don't need, I don't need the cherry picker back. I have a cherry picker. Mm. I was going to say, he's got like the ultimate cherry picker. Well, with all this shit laying around, I'm pretty sure Ryan probably has some fucking bolts laying around that yeah, we could use. What I should eat. Take the transmission, but you're on deep take the transmission bolts anyway, so if the transmission bolts fit, then they fit. Oh. Well, not, it's the same engine stand you have. Yeah. So? I need a three and a half inch long bolt. Okay. Alrighty. Well, I'm back. Hair's a fucking mess. I'm fuck filthy. But, it's gone. And you have Joel trying not to fall with his big ass off the truck. What do you want at? Oh. So pretty. Uh. <laughs> Picking on little good? kids. Yeah. Kick his ass, you bass. Hi. How much fun is this gonna be? Fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Once it's done, it's gonna be worth it. Oh, it's gonna be worth it. That's a good thing is we got all winter, so. Oh, we're gonna sit there and refresh the shit out of it. The thing is, though, it's not it's not going in until we blow up the fucking four cylinder. So. So DOD. Tonight. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. DOD. I'm, I'm just going fucking ball. So we'll just drain the oil out of it after DOD and. No, I wouldn't do it that way. I would just do a standing burnout and blow the shit out of it. I mean, we could also drain the oil at DOD and. <laughs> no, yeah. I want to be able to get it back up on the trailer. Okay, right before we, we leave, I'm we saying what I'm saying is we go back to my house There's and we just plenty. fucking have a burnout comp at the fucking house in the driveway There's and just blow the shit out of it. To help push that fucker back up on the trailer. Yeah, yeah. We're truck dragging one. Yeah. <laughs> hey, my trailer's got a winch. <laughs> I got my new I got my new tow hook on. I'm good to go now. I got the new tow hook on, so we're good. My trailer's got a winch. <laughs> Get a new intake manifold. Like he said, power. So. That's a lot I got some shit to look at and price out. <laughs> Trying to keep it cheap, but Joel likes to just go balls to the wall. Because somehow, apparently, I'm shitting out money. I don't know what he's doing. I think he's whoring on the side and he won't let me in. But Because apparently, he's just buying everything for a 5 that you could buy. It's not fair. Ooh, buy this, buy that. I'm giving handies on the side of the fucking highway, aren't you? Nope. <laughs> I think you're lying. Dig a little deeper, brother. Dig a little deeper. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Take that money with you when you go. No, but I gotta be able to make a house payment. <laughs> if you can't make a house payment and build a car, you should stop now. <laughs> no, no, that's good. Like I said, handy's on the side of the highway. <laughs> do what I do. All right, guys. Well, we're gonna get this dropped off at my house, so we'll come back then. We'll get it there, hopefully in one piece. So, Blake, see you. We are back at the house. Sinister's over there. So we are at the final resting place of the new one. Let's see what happens. Go nice enough to transport my engine. Huh? I was gonna say, just wait till we do this and then we'll load it. Oh, I see that. Why you have to put that in there? I'll put it on. All right. So, Mr. Trenton there has got big ass. And then the back air. Put on war machines, so we'll see how that goes. Good job. <laughs> this is why I have friends. This is why we have friends. So, 
got this to come out now on this little stand. I don't know how that's going to work out well, but... <laughs> Get it <Well>. done. <laughs> oh. Alright, well, so we're going to load the shit out of this thing. Be a lot taller. Two feet taller. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>